Given that the cubic equation az cubed plus bz squared plus cz plus d is equal to zero has roots alpha, beta, and gamma, find the sum and the product of the roots. So this is a very similar process to what we did with quadratics. So if alpha, beta, and this symbol means gamma, are the roots of a cubic equation, then we've got az uh, cubed plus bz squared plus cz plus d could be written as a as z minus alpha, z minus beta, z minus gamma. Now, if we expand these, so we're going to write down a z minus gamma, and then we're going to expand these two brackets here. So it's z times z minus gamma minus beta, z minus gamma. So that, keep that the same. So we're going to get z squared minus gamma z minus beta z plus beta gamma. Be careful with the sign. And now we're going to expand these two brackets here. So a z z squared minus uh, gamma z plus minus beta z plus beta gamma minus alpha times that bracket again. So leaving the a out the front, we multiply through, we're going to get z cubed minus y z squared minus b beta z squared beta gamma z from doing that times this and taking this one and be careful with the signs again minus alpha z squared minus plus sorry change the sign at minus times a minus alpha gamma z and plus alpha gamma z and then the last one will become And the last one, sorry, will become minus alpha, beta, gamma. The sign will change there. Right. Uh, so we've got az cubed. And here we've got z squared, uh, z squared, and z squared. So that will become minus a alpha plus beta plus gamma z squared. When you take the minus sign out of all those, these, this gives me like the sum of the roots. And then we get alpha, uh, alpha, beta. So that comes from, let's see, alpha, beta, z comes from there. Beta, uh, gamma, beta, gamma comes from there. And then alpha, gamma comes from there. A lot of books write it gamma, alpha. I prefer, I prefer to do it in sort of al alphabetical order. Minus the product here, alpha, beta, gamma, a. A alpha beta gamma. Right, so writing that out again. So if we now uh, compare coefficients of z squared, okay, so z squared, z squared, we're going to have that b would have to be equal to minus a alpha plus beta plus gamma. And that would give that the sum of the roots, alpha, beta, plus gamma, is equal to minus b over a. This is called the sum of the roots. Now, there's a little shorthand for that, so you don't have to keep writing this out. It's a sigma alpha, and that means the sum of the roots. Comparing coefficients of uh, z. So we've got z on this side is c, and then z on this side is alpha uh, a times alpha, beta, plus beta gamma plus uh, alpha gamma. I, I prefer to write it that way around, but books uh, prefer to write it the other way around. So alpha beta plus beta gamma plus alpha gamma is C over A. Right, this is called the sum of the products of pairs of roots. Okay, and for shorthand, that can be written like that. And then comparing the constant term, where well, the constant term on this one is D, the constant term on this one is minus alpha uh, a times alpha beta gamma. So that gives you alpha beta gamma is minus d over a. So that's known as the product of three roots. So therefore, these three things are the sort of properties for um, For the sum and product of roots for a cubic equation. These three things are then quite important. So this has been a video to show you how to find the uh, sum and product 
of the pairs of roots and the product of three roots for a cubic equation, which we can now use in a later question. So I hope you've understood, and I thank you very much for watching.